Yeah. And this is a blended whiskey, and there is some Yamazaki in that. With cheetah and Hakushu as well. Hakushu. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> So Japanese whiskey, Ben, what's the fucking fuss about? Well, it's very expensive. Isn't it expensive? Too expensive. Some might say there was a bottle of Yamazaki that I saw in the paper had gone in auction uh, for £8,000 uh, recently. How much? How much? How much? Eight grand? Are you having a laugh? You've got some in your shed, haven't you? I've got some in my shed. That's I remember half of that's mine. That's <laughs> not yours, mate. That is something I did pre-thinking drinkers days. I did, judged a cocktail competition using this Yamazaki, which is now worth eight grand. They were just mixing with eggs and all sorts. No, no, I just found it in the shed, uh, and that's worth yeah, it's worth eight grand. That's nice for me, but most people are not going to spend £8,000 on a bottle of Japanese whiskey. No. If they do want to get into the conversation though, Ben, yeah. they could have... Japanese conversation. <gasps> yeah, oh, some of that. Half a bottle. Half a bottle of Suntory Toki. Um, Suntory is one of the main uh, distilleries over in Japan, making some of these whiskies, making Yamazaki. And Yamazaki is actually in there. Correct, Tom. And I know what the other two whiskies there from the Cheetah distillery that's a grain whiskey, so that's the base of it. And then you've got a whiskey from a distillery called Hakushu. Oh, bless you, Ben. Thank you. Yeah, uh, so it is a blended whiskey, but it's using those whiskies that come from the same distillery as those 8,000 uh, pound whiskies that we're talking about. Um, and as a result, the whiskey that's in there has been distilled with the same values, the same integrity. sophistication, the same integrity, mm -hmm. indeed. And if we- And I've got a lot of that because they came over here, didn't they? Over to Scotland, really. Over to Scotland, nicking our ideas. Nicking their our ideas, ideas, yeah, we're English, really. Yeah. And um, took it back to Japan, used all their technological expertise, and have created a whiskey industry that, in terms of diversity of flavour and styles and everything, is, is unbridled. Yes, I mean, they use the same techniques. So they, they do peated whiskies over there. They, uh, they do grain whiskies, as you talked about in here. So they've got lots of very similar styles, but they've got very different environments. So they've got different flavor profiles going on. So there's a lot of great stuff going on with Japanese whiskey. But what happened was they didn't expect everyone to go nuts for it. And they ran out, frankly, they ran out, which is why it's so expensive. But this stuff only costs 30 quid a bottle and it's easy to get hold of. Uh, and it does taste very nice and neat. A grain whiskey gives it a bit of sweetness to it, and then you've got those two single malts around it, which give it that complexity. For 30 quid a bottle, if you want to get that into Japanese whiskey. There. That is very good gear, actually. And also, did you know that in Japan, whiskey drinking is an integral part of business life? I did know that. And if actually, you want yeah. to get ahead in Japanese business, you need to go out with, you to go with your colleagues and clients, drink whiskey, and not behave like a douchebag. Yeah. But there was three or four specific phrases definitely three definitely uh, three yeah that, uh, or maybe four maybe four <laughs> depends doesn't it depends how much whiskey you've had yeah but there's uh, you have specific terms for inebriation yes so there's happy drunk which, which is, is where i joe go uh, uh, angry drunk which is necky joe go there's sad drunk which is Neji Jogo. And there's one you probably don't know which is for sleepy drunk uh, no, i do know it's wake me up before you joke Pretty sure you can't say that. Mm. Can't say that.